I think this image is a bit of a metaphor for how a lot of us feel. We feel like hostages. We don't know what to trust anymore. We don't know what is real, what is fake. But we don't have to be hostages. It's useful to understand how generative AI works, starting with billions of images with a descriptive caption like this. Each image is degraded until nothing but visual noise is left. A random array of pixels, and then the AI model learns how to reverse that process by essentially turning that noise back into the original image. I've spent the last 30 years developing technologies to analyze and authenticate digital images and digital videos. What we like to look at is whether the residual noise in an image looks more like a natural image or an AI-generated image. Those star-like patterns are a telltale sign of generative AI. Here is the noise residual that I've extracted, and there is that star-like pattern that you see in the bottom right. Our first suggestion that something may be wrong here: AI fundamentally doesn't model the physics and the geometry of the world. It tends to violate these physics. If you image parallel lines in the physical world, they will converge to a single point, what's called the vanishing point. Here in this image, I've annotated four parallel lines on the parallel sides of the wall in our basement photo, and you can see a lack of a coherent vanishing point. That suggests a physically implausible scene. Evidence number two. All right, what else can we learn? Surprisingly, shadows have a lot in common with vanishing points. Here, I've annotated four shadows on the bottom. From the the soldiers'、uh, shadows to their legs, and you can see that the lines aren't even close to intersecting. Not one, not two, but three anomalies. We now have a very good indication that this image is not authentic. While it may not be easy, it is possible to distinguish what is real from what is fake. Take a breath before you share information, and don't. Deceive your friends and your families and your colleagues, and further pollute the online information ecosystem.